What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and today's video is going to be the first of several covering the new repeatable endgame content coming with Shadowlands, Torghast, Tower of the Damned. This first video will be an introduction to the process as a whole, as well as a guide to show you exactly how you open up the first few wings of Torghast. So yeah, kinda big spoilers on this one. Anyways, let's get into some dungeon crawling. Torghast Tower of the Damned is the latest style of content to be introduced in World of Warcraft. Inspired very, very loosely by Horrific Visions- No. Nope. Wait, no, no, don't go, it's actually pretty fun, I swear. What I meant to say was that Torghast is a form of PvE content that you can either do solo or in a group, with the difficulty scaling as more people are in your party. You will be clearing numerous floors of the Tower of the Damned, acquiring special powers called Anima Powers, and earning extra currency called Phantasma, which is used in each Torghast run to buy more powers from various vendors. The big reason you'll want to take part in this content is you'll need to earn Soul Ash from the end bosses of each layer of Torghast, which is used to craft legendary items at the Rune Carver, an NPC you'll be unlocking and helping within Torghast. There will be numerous types of enemies and floor paths, as well as tons of dastardly tricks and traps waiting for you around every corner, so you'll want to keep your eyes open for anything out of the ordinary. All your typical booby traps await you, such as swinging axes, spike floor traps, fiery lasers, and all sorts of other harmful things, with tons of levers to pull on that make things happen. Okay, so now you have a pretty rough idea of what to expect in Torghast. So I'll be showing you exactly how to unlock your first few wings of the Super Dungeon Crawler in this video. If I may have just a brief moment though, I have a new member of the Super Shiba Squad tier of my Patreon to welcome. So hello and thank you so much Fuma Kataro. I hope this video and all future ones will be helpful to you and you have my sincere gratitude for your support for the channel. So first and foremost, you will need to be level 60 to get started on all this Torghast stuff. This is when you'll return to Ouroboros, the main hub for Shadowlands, and choose your Covenant. You'll speak with Tal Inara to pick up this quest. Once you talk to the four Covenant representatives, see all your cool goodies, and make your decision, you'll select one at this big table thingy right here. After handing this quest in, you'll be directed to talk to whomever is your Covenant representative again, and they'll tell you to go head to your new Covenant Sanctum for a big party to celebrate your decision. You'll earn this from playing all the way up to level 60, but for those new to Ouroboros, the Flight Master is on the second floor, so you'll have to take one of these floor portals here and run around this huge and virtually empty area to take a flight path to the closest stop to your Covenant Sanctum. This part will vary based on which Covenant you pick, but for the most part once you get to your Sanctum, you'll just click on a couple quest givers, Tell them you'll totally never betray their trust and leave as soon as a different covenant gets buffed or anything like that, and then they'll give you all sorts of cool magical powers and other crap. After this, you'll be given a sort of brief tutorial of various systems in your sanctum, starting with Renown. Renown is basically like a way bigger reputation bar specific to your covenant, and you gain a ton more things like cosmetic items, toys, pets, mounts, and bonuses to your covenant soulbinds and other stuff. Honestly, Renown is a huge enough topic for its own video, which I've already done a preliminary one of if you want to take a peek at that, though some stuff might be slightly changed before launch. After talking with your Keeper of Renown, you'll be sent to another NPC whom will give you what is known as a Covenant Calling. These are basically like emissaries for Shadowlands, so this first one will have you do three world quests in your Covenant-specific zone. As a heads up, I did all of these quests in the starter template gear which was 138 item level, which is about where we should end up from questing and other stuff, and this was honestly a little trickier than you might expect. Due to this, I highly recommend keeping some health potions, food, and other consumables on you if you want to make this stuff a little bit easier if you're doing it solo. If you can get any of the new expansion stuff early, especially weapon enchants like Lightless Force, then you'll be pretty well off. So once you do these three world quests and turn in this Covenant Calling, you'll get a nice little loot box which for me contained a pretty nice weapon upgrade. You'll then be given a quest to talk to your Covenant Sanctum Upgrader, whom will be where you deposit this new fangled anima currency that a lot of world quests and other things will give you. These Sanctum upgrades will vary a little bit based on your Covenant, 
though the main things like the transport network, the anima conductor, and the command table will all be the same. Again, a lot of really big topics that are all going to have their own specific videos. After depositing your anima, you'll be shuffled off to talk with yet another member of your covenant, this time telling you to go to the Maw and learn how to save more souls that will help support the growth of the Covenant. You can either fly back to Ouroboros if you want, or you can just hearth or take a portal or something if you're a mage, you know, things like that. Once you're there, you'll go back to the second floor where the Flight Master normally is. However, this time instead of taking a flight path, you're just gonna throw yourself right into this big swirling death hole in the middle of Ouroboros. Yep, that's what you have to do. I didn't realize that for a little while, and then I read the tooltip and I was like, oh, you literally have to throw yourself in the death hole. Okay. Upon doing this, you quite literally crash land in the Maw, conveniently right in front of Venari's little hideaway. Venari's basically going to be our helper that gets us into a lot of the good stuff like Torghast. This broker will have some menial quests for you, such as collecting Stygia, which is earned from killing various denizens of the Maw, and rescuing lost souls, whom will be trapped in cages or sometimes in these little stalactite things for whatever reason. After getting enough of each of these, you'll return to Venari and purchase a Cypher of Relocation, which basically works as a mini hearthstone to take you from anywhere in the Maw back to Venari. You'll then pick up another quest in which you'll plant a signaling beacon, while doing so, you'll get a little cutscene of Bane Bloodhoof trying to escape the Jailer's forces, only to be shackled and dragged off again. What a surprise. Jackass. You'll fight a Tower Inquisitor who can hurt quite a bit if you're not careful and are still low item level just as a heads up. I didn't pick up like any item level upgrades doing this, so I did this all at like 138 or 140 item level and it hurt a little bit. After defeating him, you'll return to Venari with the news about this all happening, and then she'll tell you to buzz off for a bit, and basically you'll just relay all this back to Bolvar 4 Dragon in Ouroboros. You'll be doing a lot of back and forth travel, because Bolvar is going to tell you to go drop off those souls you rescued for your Covenant, so you can use them for your first Covenant Sanctum upgrade, the Command Table. After that, you'll be introduced to your first Soulbind character of your Covenant, and given a brief tutorial about how the Soulbind tree works and conduits and all that good stuff. This is again a huge topic with its own series in the works, if you're interested in any of that information. Upon Soulbinding with your Covenant ally, you'll gain your first level of Renown, and then will be told to return to Ouroboros and speak with Bolvar again. As a side note, this is also where you unlock all your other Covenant callings, those emissary things I was talking about earlier if you want to keep an eye on those. Anyways, Bolvar will tell you to return to the Maw and see if you can find a way into Torghast Tower of the Dam so you can save Bane and all the other super important people that got captured. You'll of course go back to Venari in the Maw, who has already and somehow conveniently acquired a frickin' portal directly into Torghast, and now you will have your first glimpse into the super imposing and damning tower. For your first little foray into the Torghast process, you'll have to click on this little pillar thingy in the middle of this big open room, and that will send you to a specific instance of Torghast where your goal is to rescue Bane Bloodhoof. As far as navigating the horrors of Torghast that await you, I will be covering those in several guides. However, this first one was meant to be just a quick sneak peek, as well as a little bit of an unlocking process guide so you know exactly what to do when you hit max level and how to get into Torghast as soon as possible. There are more things you can do in Torghast, such as the Rune Carver, which we'll be using to make our legendaries, and the Endless Mode, which isn't technically endless, but we'll talk about that when the time is ready. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If so, then any likes, comments, or new subscribers are fantastic ways of showing your support for the channel. If you're new around in my little corner of the YouTube algorithm, then I'd like to welcome you to come check out the rest of the channel. I do new uploads every week down a variety of content, covering things like guides, tutorials, weak auras, add-ons, and plenty of rogue-specific things. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.